You're still watching the City Newsroom. Now, one of the key ways by which we are being advised to prevent the spread of the coronavirus is to avoid crowded areas. Now, in one particular area of focus uh, in Ghana, our international schools, seeing that uh, some of the students as well as their relatives are more likely to travel in and out of the country. We are trying to go to some of these international schools. Behind me, we're looking at the Ghana International School. I mean, they have made an announcement uh, that uh, they are looking at uh, moving classes online from next week onwards. Now also, all students are required to stay home during this time with learning support continuing through their virtual learning platforms. That's what's happening for the Ghana International School. We have also taken a, a trip to the Roman Ridge School over there. We did, no one spoke to us, but we did observe that they had uh, play sanitizers, you know, advantage points, and there were educational materials uh, to educate the kids on what the coronavirus is and what preventive steps they can take to ensure that they protect themselves. So it is clear that the international schools are taking steps to protect their students with the provision of hand sanitizers among other things. Now this is what the schools are doing but what are Ghanaians doing? You're still watching the City Newsroom. We want to get a sense of what the uh, uh, broader population is actually doing with regards to protection against the possible spread of the coronavirus. My name is Bobier Osei. Let's speak to some Ghanaians. Now the virus uh, we have dreaded has arrived at our shores. Oh gosh, yes. what, what, what exactly are you doing to protect your, your, your family? Basic personal hygiene, you know, I'm teaching all my, my young children, coughing, you cover your mouth, sanitizers that I've got to. <laughs> yeah, so basic things that we've been told to do, that's what we're trying to do, yeah. Okay, okay. And um, for you, now we do know that government says it's allocated about 100 million to protect you and I. Yeah. What more do you think they can do to ensure that we are, we, are, we are safe? Well, just make sure that that money is used, put to good use. Yes. Whatever you, you, the government can do to equip, you know, institutions, equip us, we should go about it. The money shouldn't end up somewhere, mm. but it should be used. Mm to protect you and I. So that's what I can say about that. Generally, as you walk around, I mean, do you feel some level of tension when you go to the pharmacy? Oh, definitely. There's a lot of fear and panic. There is, um, I think it's, it's overrated, mm. overhyped. I think that we just have to be extra cautious, take every necessary step to protect yourself, your loved ones, your family, but don't spread fear and panic. It's not necessary. I mean, honestly, truthfully, I just had a client cut short a meeting because I coughed. No way. I'm telling you. He came from the States and I had a meeting with him and he said, I coughed and he's like, excuse me? <laughs> excuse me? What happened? I'm telling you. And I said, I've had a cold. I've, I lost my voice like two weeks ago and I just coughed once. And the meeting he said, was over. Um, please, can we just cut short the meeting? And I was like, okay, fine. We're going to run over and try and speak to senior hobby how are you doing man how are you what what steps are you taking to protect yourself and your loved ones? well first of all i don't want to panic so um i'm not like rushing to buy hand sanitizers and all although like i have one right here oh, nice. <laughs> just in case yeah but i don't think anybody should like panic buy a sanitizer just like it's basically like personal hygiene being upgraded just to, like keep yourself safe mm -hmm. yeah and then um, for you, do you think if you look around, if you go around places, do you think businesses as well as you know the public, I mean, are doing enough to protect themselves? Well, from well, for example, um, it took me. I be, I think I went to about four pharmacies before I was able to get a nose mask. Yeah. yeah, and then I was able to get um, gloves, yeah. hand gloves from the first pharmacy I went to. Yeah. But from what I've seen so far, I don't think people are too scared. I don't think there's too much fear about yeah. it. There's much more humor than. Yeah. Human defiance more than fear. The, the Ghanaian yeah. way. Yeah, the Ghana, you know, you know we, are, we are trying to like make jokes and memes yeah. out of everything, but it's actually a serious issue. And I think, although there shouldn't be panic, there should be actually like some self awareness and then protection. Protection. Speaking of protection, can I get some of your sanitizer? Why not? Why not? You know, help me out, help me out. There you go. Now we are sharing. <laughs> Ghanaians are sharing hand sanitizers and all. So I just uh, got one. We're still going to see if we can speak to some more Ghanaians. Uh, whilst we wait, let me rub this hand sanitizer on my hand. And uh, trust you me, this came uh, to cost 
because currently, I mean, hand sanitizers and face masks are, you know, not on the market. People have bought all of it. So in our next report, we're going to take a look at the shortage of hand sanitizers as well as face, you know, mask on the Ghanaian market.